everybody, welcome back. Today I thought we would do some printing on fabric. And uh, this is something, it's been a while since I've done, and I thought it would be kind of fun to, to share with you guys um, how to do this and some great uses for it. Um, what you're going to need is some freezer paper and then some muslin cotton. And while I'm talking, I'm going to go ahead and press this to get some of these wrinkles out. Um, and this will work with inkjet printers, which is what I have. And I've, like I said, I've done this before, um, but it's been ages since I've done it. And the reason I thought this would be a really great project is I'm working on some more of the snippet wall hangings. And I've only got a few stamps uh, in my stash that have got quotes, so I've just recently purchased a nice little um, digital that I think is going to work out really nice uh, for some wall hangings. So I, I'm going to share with you guys how this all comes out, and then hopefully over the next few weeks I'll have um, something finished for you to see how I'm going to incorporate that into some projects. Okay, so... I don't know if this is going to show up, but your freezer paper has a dull side, like a matte side, and then it's got a, sh a side that's shiny. And you're going to want to take the shiny side and place that over the um, piece of muslin cotton. Now, I have cut all this down to a an A4 size. So what I would advise you do is take a sheet of your copy paper that fits into your printer and use that as the, um, the template to get this cut out. And then take a iron and like I said make sure you've got the shiny side down and I would say probably a medium heat or low to medium, depending on how hot your iron is. This one doesn't seem to be particularly hot iron, so I have to increase the heat a little bit. And just run that over it a few times. You want to make sure that that's adhered really, really well. I'm excited to do this technique because, like I said, it's been a couple of years since I've done any printing on the fabric, and um, I'm really hoping that uh, the printout that I've got is going to work for the project I've got in mind. If it's not, I'll just go back and try to find a few more quotes um, in digital form because um, I don't, like I said, I don't have that many stamps, and it would cost so much money to go out and purchase uh, the quotes in the stamps. Okay, guys, I'm now going to shut off the camera and move in so that you can see how I'm going to do this on the printer. Okay, guys, this is my printer. I, um, I've got just some cardstock down there um, just because I think if this is on its own, it might not feed through. So what you're going to want to do is place your fabric. However your machine feeds it, for me I've got to um, put it in with the fabric facing down because it, it takes it and then comes out this way. So however you need to feed it in your machine, make sure that you're aware of that. And then close this and then just print as normal. And here we are. This is the image I'm going to be um, printing. Okay, let me just see. I think I am going to put this to, because I think that's going to be the size I want to do this at. So I'm doing it two per page and here goes. Ah, 
Sorry guys, I forgot. I'm having issues with this. I'm going to have to plug it in. I had to update my computer. Um, I've got the, you know, the Apple computer and I did an update and since doing the update it does not uh, want to work without that cord so I'm going to have to do some checking. So anyways, let's just hope that this comes out nice. nervous. <laughs> it's been a while, like I said, since I've done this. I'm hoping it's going to do right. Oh, yes, this is coming out pretty. Oh, I think that's going to be a really nice size for my, what it might, my thinking. Can you see it? Oh, it's adorable. Because it's got the little sayings, and we'll go over that. So this, as you can see, this is the Saturday Stamper at Etsy is where I purchased these if you guys are looking for to do this. Oh, these are come out beautiful. Perfect. Okay, let's move over here. Let me get some lights on so you can see slightly better. Okay, hang with me here, guys, and I will go over this with you. Isn't that adorable? It's come out beautiful. Absolutely love it. I'm so happy with how this came out. So now, all you're going to want to do is uh, peel off that backing. Oh, 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 aren't those sweet? Okay, so what I'm thinking, guys, let me get my stuff here, is remember when we did when I did this uh, little wall collage thing? Well, I've got all of my snippet rolls ready, you see. So I'm just thinking I've been using that one. I'd like to do another wall snippet. And I just thought, wouldn't it be really sweet to have... This one says, every day is a fresh start. Wherever life plants you, bloom with grace. Speak beautiful things. Plant kindness. Start each day with a grateful heart. There is beauty and simplicity. And collect beautiful moments. Do small things with great love. Oh, I love those. Isn't that going to be sweet just to have those cut and stitched around as a little focal point with a nice little saying. So I'm very happy with that. The other one I'm thinking about, um, it's a different shop and I don't know which the name offhand. They had some Bible scriptures that I thought would be nice because you can see this is the only quote I've really got is that hope is the thing. And I just don't want to start searching for stamps. It's just, it would take up too much room and it'd be too expensive. Whereas this way, if I can start searching um, and do share, if you guys know anybody that's got really nice quotes, and I don't want just the single words because I've got loads of those. I want things that actually say these, um, you know, the nice speak beautiful things, things like that. Um, not necessarily with an image. I'm, I'm thinking more if I can find some shops that have just these on their own, that that would be a really good purchase. So so thinking, and I'm not going to be doing a project with this today, guys. This was just, I wanted to share with you how to do that and how easy. So uh, I'm going to be jumping on, I think, now. And I'm going to go ahead and cut out some more, and I'll run these. Yeah, um, this was two to the sheet. I'll go ahead and do one just a single because I'm thinking the larger ones would be very pretty to make uh, greeting cards with. Um, for that matter you could cut these out and do my um, 
fabric postcard. How pretty would that be? And, and how nice to give to somebody. So um, I tell you what, let me just stop the camera. I'm going to print this out on just the normal size and I'll, that way you can visualize how that's going to look as one of the uh, fabric postcards. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here you can see the difference. Those are about um, I don't know, two and a quarter by one and a half. And then if you do it one per, you know, just as it normally is, that comes out at three and a half by two and a half. So, oh gosh, yeah, my head's spinning. So I think what the way I would use these is you could put this on top of, because my... Um, fabric postcards. Let me grab one. I'm sure I've got one somewhere, guys. Just give me two seconds. Here they are. So these measure about five inches by three and a half. Okay, so I think the way I would do these is I'd probably still stamp and then maybe come back and add that on top of some muslin or I'm just going to get that off. I'm just going to give you some ideas here. Um, or this is kind of a heavier fabric and I've never done these before but this is kind of like a heavier um, one you could possibly I mean that would be really pretty this image over um, let me just go ahead and cut this There's just so many pretty things you could do with this. I love these images. How sweet. So you could you could put that over a patterned bit of fabric, right? And then you could back it. Or you could do what some of the other ones I've done is um, put some batting behind it and then um, back it with muslin and you can even stamp on the muslin like or I've even made them with little pockets with a tag in there um, I don't know I'm kinda like that but then I, you can't go wrong with that either how pretty would that be and then maybe put some pretty um, vintage laces tucked in Oh gosh, I, oh yeah, I, th I think I prefer this if I'm honest. But you could back it if you've got um, a floral fabric. How pretty would that be for the back of it instead of leaving it plain? Because then, I don't know, it just adds a bit more to it. But oh my goodness, I love this. I hope you guys, if um, you know, if you have never tried to print on fabric do try it guys honestly I mean I was a bit nervous this time because it had been a while but as long as you get that freezer paper um, ironed down you know make sure you get it hot enough so it's sticking really well and you can tell just test it um, it is going to come out beautifully and then if you see any bits of lint make sure you clear those before you run it through your printer but, I mean, I think that's, for inkjet, I think that's come out pretty doggone good. Now, this is not washable. Let me just make sure you guys know that. Uh, but for our uses in crafting, it doesn't matter, does it? Nobody's going to wash these. So, do just be aware of that. For um, uh, I'm, I'm just disclosing that you would not be able to put this through the machine. But I am thrilled with this girl's images. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write her and tell her. Um, in fact, I'll probably wait till I've got a picture of a project complete and I'll send it to her and show her how I've used these because I think that's going to be absolutely gorgeous for um, one of my snippet 
projects I'm I'm really getting into this let me share with you guys <clears throat> gosh I've got a mess here I'm getting too my head's spinning again you know when I start getting all these ideas of what I'm gonna do <laughs> but I, I'm gonna have to play around with this because this is gonna be gorgeous how fun when I get that completed to incorporate on this into a wall hanging I think that's going to be pretty now I might not use the ones I've got I may have to do some uh, very specific um, I'll show you guys I got myself some new fabrics the other day some more of my Liberty because I'll have to say I told you it was really bothering me that my fabrics weren't coordinated so I thought, oh, I must just go ahead, because I've been picking up my fabrics uh, mostly at the car boots and thrift store, and I love fabric so much that I thought, I'm going to, I know I'm enjoying this, so let me just go ahead and get myself some nice stuff. Well, this was of something I had purchased ages ago, and this is all vintage. Let me show you what I finally dug out the other day. This is my first um, block for the slow stitching that I'm working on. Um, I was inspired by Lorette, who is the Sparrow Sparrow Hawk Design, I believe, is is her YouTube. Well, she is doing a wall hanging, and she just does a block at a time, and then at the end she's going to join them. And I thought, oh, that's brilliant because. I won't feel too overwhelmed. So I, I dug out and I love the teals, right? And then I, I matched it up, I think the contrast with the red, even though I'm not a red person, I don't know why, I've got loads of red in my stash, but I didn't care, I just love it, I love how it's. Now I don't know a lot of the slow stitches guys yet, so I've only done, uh, I think this is a back stitch, of course the um, cross or the kiss stitch, and then this is the French knots. I'm very, very pleased with my French knots. I think they've come out good. And then this one, I forget what they call that stitch. It's a, a Japanese stitch. Um, and then I did my little yo-yos. That's the first time I've ever made those. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy with this. This is an 8 inch by 8 inch um, square so what I my thinking is over time I'm hoping to do six of these and then I'll join them together and do a nice wall hanging from my studio but that's way way down the road the one thing I'm finding this time I started the slow stitching maybe a year year and a half ago and I couldn't get into it I don't know different times of your life I guess you can Oh, this was the blanket stitch as well. I'm, i got to work on that because that's not particularly good. But I'm happy with it. I'm really pleased with the, how the colors have come out. I love that piece of fabric. So, um, what was I saying? That I couldn't get into it before, and this time I've loved it. So, I'm not putting any pressure on myself to get this project done. I think that's where I've went wrong in the past is... I try to get complete it, and I'm trying to, this definitely teaches you to just slow down, work on it, set it to the side, and I need, I need really help with that because I am full on, I think you guys know by now, when I start a journal, it's like I'm obsessed until I complete it, and this is completely the other end of the spectrum, it's like, no, you cannot rush yourself on this, so that's great. Um, so I've, I've got these fabrics, um, and I was able to incorporate in that, so I'm, I'm really happy about how that's come out. So what I did, I went ahead and purchased some of these, and this is how I've ended up with more reds, but I love these. Aren't these so pretty? And this is the Liberty of London, and oh my gosh, I went into their store before COVID hit. Paul and I went down to um, London just, you know, for like a, a a night away, we stayed at a hotel, and um, I said, oh, I want to go to Liberty, London, I want to go to Blaze Stamps, um, 
So we took the bus down, and oh my gosh, it ended up being such a nice, nice getaway. But while I was in there, I looked at their fabrics. My goodness, guys, you talk about expensive. But when I felt it, and I'm no expert on materials, but I love fabric. Always have done. I've always had fabric, and yet I don't know how to sew. <laughs> um, but when I felt the quality of it, I was like, oh my gosh, now I see why their fabrics are so expensive there unreal but look at that isn't that beautiful so that's a little bundle I got and these are just perfect because they're small these are 10 5 inch piece 10 5 inch pieces but I love it because um, I can make a lot of projects out of these and I bought that one this one is little two two and a half inch squares but look at that isn't that gorgeous? I'd love to own that. Um, sorry, I get very excited about fabric I, and lace for that matter. But look at these. That piece, oh, I would love to own. I'd love to own a bunch of that. I don't know what the design is, but that is gorgeous. Look at these. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? <gasps> Oh, I'm so excited to get started because these are going to be so pretty. But I'm not going to put any pressure on myself to keep this coordinated. I'm just totally going with it. And whatever colors come out, they just come out. I'm not going to be stressing about trying to make it all coordinate. And I don't know, maybe that's not the right way to go about it. But I'm just so needing um, this getting back to doing things that are just for pleasure. Look at this. This is all pinks. But aren't they pretty? This has got, let's just look at it. I hope, I hope you guys don't mind indulging me, but I just love fabrics. Let's see what we got here. It's a pretty little piece. Oh, look at this one. Oh, this is my favorite right here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's got like pink, then the soft, soft green, which I love. And then there's like a little bit of mauve up in there. Oh, beautiful. So yes, this is going to be so fun because this is my thinking was <clears throat> if I can do each block kind of coordinated. And like I said, I don't care if at the end, even if I do have red, contrasting with the pink. I don't care. I just, I'm just enjoying this so much. Okay, and yes, I've gone off on a tangent, so I'm super excited, guys. It's like a whole new um, thing. I don't know, last time when I started this, I just felt like, oh man, I don't want to learn something else. But this time, it really is what I needed. I <clears throat> needed something that I could throw myself into. Um, that was just purely for pleasure. And um, so the other thing I'll be doing with those fabrics are the snippet rolls because I'm super happy how these came out and I just cannot wait to get started with some of these um, <clears throat> little wall hangings. And I will be adding these to the shop. I've had a couple people contact me and say, am I going to sell these? I will, but I don't know when I'm going to get around to completing them, guys. But as soon as I do, you'll be the first to know that they're in there. Okay, guys, that's all I've got to share with you today. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's kind of taken, um, you know, if you've been afraid to try it, I hope that you now see how quick and easy it is. And um, <clears throat> we'll give it a go. Take care, everybody. I'll see you here soon. Bye.